Can we talk for a second about, and I think we both call this, but the yuck factor? Oh, I met a lady with a super yuck factor the other day. And she should have known better because she was working around older people. And I said, oh, well, I have a transtracheal. And she, said, <gasps> she pulled back and said, oh, yuck. I said, you just said the yuck factor. Mm -hmm. I said, why is that? Oh, because I'm just so squeamish about every little thing, scratches or needles or anything. So a certain number, number of people are squeamish. I find men to be less squeamish. They're, oh, that's really neat. And yes, sometimes they're thinking of the cosmetic factor because they're still going to business. But that just isn't it. It's all about the oxygen delivery. The, it cut my flow needs in half, literally, at night, in from, half. From I dropped from that. three down to, mm -hmm. well, not quite half, one and three quarter liters at night. Mm -hmm. I do have sleep apnea. I s would interrupt my sleep about 18 times an hour. And recently, I asked my doctor, can't we do a night test again? I raised my nighttime flow level well to two, but I'm going to put it at two and a half. Can we do a nighttime sleep test? And it came back with the most gratifying answer. It said on two and a half liters, I maintained oxygen saturation level at 95% the entire night, and I didn't have one sleep apnea episode at all, which meant no more than using a CPAP or BiPAP in the machine to force air into my body to keep me from dropping saturation. A lot of people have sleep apnea.